our principal conductor, Omar Mirvel, but wanted to do a Mozart concerto. And he's a brilliant musician. He plays the piano part as well as conducting the orchestra. And normally, a uh, performance of the piano concerto would involve these little bits called cadenzas, which are small portions of showing off just for the piano alone. He often likes to do things differently. So he wanted to involve some members of the orchestra in a little group. He was going to allow us to kind of improvise a little section between us with a kind of musical conversation between him and us in the band. seemed like a slightly frightening idea that Mozart piano concertos are something we're all used to playing are generally pretty well organized everything goes very precisely and we were being asked could you improvise a cadenza which is kind of slightly terrifying I was contacted by the Philharmonic's management um, to see if I wanted to take part in this performance of Mozart Piano Concerto, which was unusual in itself because there are no trumpets scored in the piece. Um, so I thought, what's, what's this about? Um, but it turned out that Omer wanted to do something creative with his cadenzas and get people involved who like to improvise. And that's a, an opportunity that you just don't say no to. we found these cadenzas uh, basically was that we, we jammed, we improvised and we had a bit of fun with it for a couple of hours in the studio. So start, you start, yeah? And we kind of fixed upon a, a, a structure, relatively fixed structure. Within that there was room for a solo, a solo line. Um, that came from improvisation, but always coming back to Mozart's fixed ideas. He wanted it to sound still like Mozart, but just in a completely different style and different time. So it just traveled to another place for three minutes suddenly, and then bang, back into Mozart's era. 